even though his symptoms, he's talking about the breathing problems that he's had and how um, difficult he has uh, with asthma uh, and the difficult breathing, that was something that we cleared up. When we do this, we do treat a lot. Um, people don't recognize that although they might have an underlying health condition, they might use an asthma pump or might have difficulty in shortness of breath. A lot of times, uh, the problems are in the rib area, Karuga, and, and in the middle of the back. And simply what happens is that the spine if it is moved out of position, particularly in the middle of the back, once the spine has come out of position, it pinches on the nerve and irritation to the nerve can cause pain, but also it can affect and cause tension in the muscles. And of course, the muscles um, here in the ribs, for example, um, when they're very tight, you can't expand your ribs so easily. So you, you do have restriction of breathing. So people that do have problems with their breathing, there may be an underlying medical condition, but if there is a medical condition, it has a muscular or or uh, physical component to it, which will affect the ribs and the tension in the ribs, uh, we can help with. So although we can't get rid of their asthma, we can't cure their asthma, the effects of the asthma in terms of their back problem, their rib problem, we can do very well with. And we, we actually succeed very well with this. And Art is a very good example of that. Uh, not to mention, I mean, when he came in, he was in a lot of pain, generally chronic everywhere, in his legs, in his arms, in his shoulders, I mean literally everywhere, almost from head to toe. And he had a lot of problems in his lower back, for example. He was that bad, he was taking, he was walking in with a stick. Um, so he was, and now he's he's back, he's starting to do a little bit of like exercise. He's, he's come a long way. I mean, he's, uh, he's a young man, but you know, he's a young man that had a lot of physical problems that had been building up for a long time. And where else was he going to go? You know, the, 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 these are the sort of problems that unfortunately the NHS doesn't have the capacity or the, the abilities to, to deal with, as most of my patients, and they're having to look outside of the NHS. And we've been here for over 30 years now, and most of the patients realize that just going to the doctors and taking tablets is just not going to do it. They, they're looking for answers and solutions. And unlike what the medical establishment, the orthodox medical establishment will do, which is give you tablets to help with pain, we're treating the underlying cause. We're actually fixing the problem rather than just treating the symptoms. Because there's no point, you can take all the tablets in the world. First of all, it's not good for you. It's not good for your stomach. It's not good for your kidneys or your liver. But more importantly, you have to treat the cause and find out what's causing the pain and fix it, rather than just trying to treat the pain. And this is what we've always done. And this is what chiropractic, and this is why chiropractic works. Yeah. How long have you been treating him? Roughly about four months, I believe. Yeah, four or five months, yeah. And he's done very well, you know. But if we haven't been treating him, he'd still be in chronic pain and probably getting worse. And these are how people become chronic. And it's very interesting. Um, his brother, Bor, um, is at university and he has also problems with his knees. And again, he's had these problems where he can't stand, he can't work, he can't be on his feet for too long because his knees hurt. We treated that quite successfully as well too, um, and we'll continue to look after him when he comes back from university. His mother as well, Gulai, also has chronic problems and, and problems literally everywhere, shoulders, back, neck, everywhere. Uh, and that's been very challenging, but again, through persistence and continued treatment, you know, so some patients will take longer because the problems are more complicated, the problems are more ingrained, they've been there a lot longer, and therefore they require more treatment and longer treatment. Some patients are much more straightforward. Whatever the situation, we have to diagnose the problem and treat it and find the solution to it. As simple as that, yeah. But if you get to the root of the cause of the problem, you'll have success and you'll get rid of not just the pain, but you get rid of the problem. And then long term, you can manage these problems quite much, much easier once you actually know what the problem is. Yeah.